You know, I don't understand. If there was a fire... He jumped he... off the rig to save his life. They picked him up out of the water. What was left of him. Well, was there any negligence on the Capwell's part? Oh, yeah. Plenty of it. So that's why you've been looking for lawyers. But there's been so much time. Why haven't you sued the hell out of them? It's a very complicated case. Maggie, if I had only known... I don't want your pity, okay? I've got more of it than I need. You want me to tell you that you're lucky? Look, I'm sorry. You what? You, um... You go home at night and you visit with him? You talk to him? Yeah. And I tell him that I love him. I tell him that a lot. Does that bother you? No, I'm just trying to understand. Yeah, sure. You and everybody else. It's like people slowing down for a car wreck. Hey, wait a minute. You took me there to see him. You wanted me to know. Because... Because you didn't understand. Well, I'm glad I do now. Warren, he was a wonderful man. He was. No, he is. Look, you said was, Maggie. You're facing it, even if you don't want to. He's my husband, Warren. I love him. He can't love you back now. Oh, I knew it. I knew I shouldn't have told you. Hey, look, wait a minute. Look, I care about you, and I want to understand here. How long can you go on pretending that you're living a normal life? It is normal for me. I don't think you mean that. I have to mean it. How else could I go on living? You're a woman, Maggie. A loving, warm, flesh and blood woman. Now, you have needs just like the rest of us. All I want is for you to admit that. Now, don't hate me because I say things other people don't have the guts to say. And don't hate me because I want to see you happy. Happy? Now you're going to tell me about happiness. No, thanks. I know what happiness is. It's something that never lasts. <laughs>